So for this problem, we're going to consider we have three unbalanced phase shift electrical circuit from these three sources here. The time is in uh, milliseconds. And so I want to convert F and G to cosine curves. So in order to do, I know that, if I just do a quick little review here, if here is theta, this is sine, and this is cosine. And if I take this and I subtract 90 degrees, so if I go theta and I subtract 90, what happens if I get this triangle here? And here's my 90 degrees, here's my theta, but this angle here is theta minus 90. And so sine theta, this distance here, is the same as this distance here, cosine. So I know that sine theta is equal to cosine theta minus 90 degrees. And so I'm going to convert, use this identity to convert these. And so f of t then is going to be 5 cosine 10t minus 90. And g of t will be 2 cosine 10t. And this is going to be subtract 90 is going to be minus 60. Now, when I do my complex numbers, what I have to realize is that my calculator, which I'll use in a bit, really only works in radians. And so this is really going to be a pi by 2 here, and this is going to be a minus pi by 3, and this one here is going to be a 2 pi by 3. So if I'm going to combine all these curves for B part, I know I'm going to take... Um, Oh, no, it's B part. So I'm going to take I of T. So I of T is going to be F of T plus G of T plus H of T. And I'm going to take all these functions and add them together. Here are the functions that they are. And when I add them together, I'm going to get this purple curve. So I have to find that equation. So in order to do so, because I'm cosine, I'm going to deal with the number that has... No, no, take my real part and I'm going to take my cosine of the complex number that consists of 5 e to the 10 t minus pi by 2 i plus 2 e e 10 t minus 60 I, and then plus 8e to the 10t minus 2 pi by 3i. And so making sure that I make this in radians, because my calculator likes radians when I deal with complex numbers. Okay, so now using my properties of exponents, I'm going to go 5e to the 10ti times e to the minus pi by 2i because when I sub when I'm actually multiplying I add these together so t e to the 10 t i times e to the minus pi by 3i plus 8 e 10 t i times e to the minus 2 pi by 3i and now if I recognize, what I see is I have an E10Ti in all of them. I'm going to pull that out as a common factor. And so I have the real value of E to the 10Ti times 5E to the minus pi by 2i plus 2E to the minus pi by 3i plus 8 e to the minus 2 by 3 i. So when I look at this, this is a function with this angle. It's got a variable. But this here is just a number. There's no variable in here at all. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put this into my calculator, which you can see that I've already done. I'll use it here. If I hit enter, 
then what I can see, I can see that I get the real part of e to the 10 i, 10 t i, times, well, that's 14 e to the negative 1.78 i. And so this is another number. I'm going to put them together where I can say the real number of 14 e to the 10 t minus 1.78 i. So this particular complex number, I want the real part of that complex number. The real part is the cosine. So it's 14 cosine 10 t minus 1.78 and this is in radians and so this is i in terms of a cosine 10 t plus b and if I type that into my graph here y equals 14 cosine uh, 10 t minus 1.78 now that's in this is in radians so Converting it to degrees, I times it by 180, divide pi. And so now you can see that that graph is exactly on top of the purple graph, which means they're the same situation. So to determine the maximum current flow through the system, well, the maximum current flow is going to be 14 and it occurs, the first time it occurs in the system is at 10.2 seconds. So it happens, the maximum is 14, and the time happens at 10.2 seconds. In order to see this, if I could do it from the graph, but I could also take this angle here and multiply it by 180 over pi, which will give me the degrees, and that'll be 102 degrees if you type that in. And that's why when I pull out 102, is come 10.2 comes from the 102. And so there we go using complex numbers to find a combination of cosine functions.